Hey, good afternoon. It's Pete here, biglife.com. And today I am gonna walk around here and look at my figs, my fig trees. Let me turn this camera around and see what there is left that might be ripe. It's pretty much the end of the season here. I've kind of given up on the trees. I am not going around really anymore on a daily basis and um, picking, picking the figs or bagging the figs like I used to. I still got some bags on them, uh, but I'm not bagging them on a routine basis because it's gotten so cold that the SWD is not like gonna go crazy at this point. And also it's just not worth the time and effort because there's just, there's just not a lot of uh, good figs left. And uh, so I'm just gonna let them kind of do their thing here towards the end of the season. But let me just walk around, see, oh my goodness, that is nasty. So there's a, a fig full of SWD right there. And normally I would never do this, but since I basically don't care anymore, I'm just gonna throw that out into the yard and let nature do its thing. So let's see what else we got here. Yeah, nothing over here. Let's see, this is my Red Lebanese Becca Valley. Let's see what this is. Got nothing there. I'm not really seeing much. <coughs> Here's a, <coughs> this has a bag on it. Oh, no, <coughs> excuse me, it's very good. <coughs> all right, what else do we got here? This is some black Crimean, but these all look spoiled to me. <coughs> it's like filled with SWD, so those are no good. Yeah, I don't know if I'll find much in the way of uh, figs here today. There's pretty much nothing left here. I've got a few figs in the grow room. I'm trying to get, oh, here we go. Look at this. Look at that. Look at all this SWD just crawling all over that thing. You see a, a yellow jacket there eating into that thing. So that's yeah, just what happens if you don't protect them with the organza bags. I mean, nature just takes over and for me here, that means SWD. <clears throat> but it's okay at this point. I'm, like I said, I'm just kind of let it go. There's, uh, season's basically over for me. So, all right, this is uh, Impella Zeri, Impella Zeri. This might be okay. Let me try this one. All right, see if this is any good. Let me break it open. All right. Yeah, it looks all right. Short taste. Eh, it's okay, but there's not much flavor there. Let's see if we got anything else here. Just looking around, I got uh, bourgeois saute noir here. Let's see if I got any ripe ones. Ugh, that's uh. Super soft. I was spoiled by SWD. Let me try this one. There we go. Actually looks okay. The uh, Sometimes I get this uh, liquid coming out and you gotta be careful. If it's a thick sort of hard liquid, that's okay. If it's a really watery liquid, that means spoilage likely from SWD. So let me try this. All right, break this open. Okay, look at that. That's Bourgeois Sauté Noir. And it does not look spoiled. So I'm gonna eat it. Yeah. There's no flavor. I mean, no flavor at all. It's just like kind of watery. And uh, kind of watery and uh, really not much flavor. So this is uh, <clears throat> this is Verdolino. 
Look how tall this thing is. Let me pick this one. When they start to droop down, like they, like this is not, this is maybe ripe, but not like fully ripe. When they, when they are ripe, they really droop down a lot. Let me pick that. Eh, it might be ripe, who knows? Let me try this. And actually I just picked a Vertolino just like an hour or two ago off my other Vertolino tree. And it actually tasted really good, I was surprised. I just, that's, that's what made me think uh, I need to just film a video here <laughs> of walking around trying figs. Um, so that's looking really good actually, Vertolino. And you know what, I'm gonna do a video at the end of the season, uh, so after this. Um, that kind of summarizes all the different figs that I thought were good during the season. And Vertolino is going to be on that list of, of good figs because this is one of the first figs to start producing for me. And here I am at the end of the year, and it's still giving me figs. So all season long, you know. And, and really, um, you know, there's not many figs left on the tree. And when you, can, when you can go through a season and ripen all season long and then be left with very little to nothing left at the end of the season, that's, that's, a, that's a variety you, you ought to look closely at. Mm. Oh man, that's good. Because you know what? It's not just about quality, like you get a fig that's good once once a season. Sure. It's also about uh, quantity. You know, am I getting one fig or am I getting a hundred figs? Because that does make a difference too. And here, end of the season, October 19th, and I'm still getting good tasting figs from Vertolino. Oh, and by the way, completely closed eye. Sorry, I was interrupted. Um, so, uh, I don't know what I was saying. You know, quantity matters too. Um, if you're getting one fig that's good, uh, that's not as good as getting 100 figs that are maybe not, you know, not perfect, but still really good. Um, so, yeah, I, I like, oh, you know what I was saying? Yeah, so the other thing was this didn't have an organza bag on it. This is one of the few, few figs that will grow here without an organza bag and not get infested with SWD because the eye is so tight on this thing. So Vertolino is a variety that I really like this season. And uh, so I, I'm gonna, when I do my end of season wrap up, that's one that uh, is gonna be on there near the top of the list, I think, so. Uh, anyway, moving on. Let's see what else we got here. All right, it's my LSU black. Lots of SWD on that one, I'm sure. That's one that does not have a super tight eye, so um, you know I have issues with SWD on that one. Uh, let's see, is this the coral black? I thought I had a, I thought I had another one of these. Oh yeah, this one. This is uh, Bourgeois Sauté Grise pick one of these 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 honestly don't look that ripe but let me let me open this up because i was just looking at this uh but it, it looks ripe when i open it up then let me try this and actually no swd in this one either because it's got a tight eye on it let me try this though yeah there's just no flavor to that yeah so so far the only one that has tasted even close to being good was Vertolino, and that one actually tasted really good. Uh, here we have, this is a Bordesat Negra Ramada. Of course, a really, just a beautiful fig. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty fig. Um, and really tasty, but at this point, again, I mean, you see it here, just uh, SWD all over, you know. I didn't put bags on those, so that's just what happens. Let's keep looking around here. This is my uh, Borge, this is a Col de Dom Noir, which I'm gonna go ahead and say was probably my best tasting fig all season, was a couple Col de Dom Noir figs that I ripened under the grow lights, believe it or not. Now that doesn't mean it's my number one, you know, people conflate this all the time, like, best tasting fig versus best fig. Just because it's my best tasting fig, that doesn't mean it's my best fig by any means. Uh, because, you know, I think there's a lot more to, you know, how good a fig is um, than the taste of a fig, like the best fig you had all season. Because again, what did you have to do to get that fig to ripen? You know, 
for me, I had to put it under the grow lights just to get a single one to ripen. And then, um, you know, it's one fig. Great, but what about what about the rest of the season? I don't I don't really grow fig trees to get a single fig. Like that just seems crazy to grow, to spend all year growing fig trees just to get a single fig. That's, to me, that's just not that's just not the best fig variety. Uh, is is the variety that gives you a single fig? Uh, what's this here? This is uh, I think this yeah, this is honey plum. Yeah, I was really impressed with honey plum this season. Um, by far, far and away, uh, the best, um, the best sacred origin fig that I had all season without a doubt. Uh, and this was a really good fig too. It just, you know, of, of any variety, this was, this was up there in, in terms of like good figs. Uh, it's Campaniere. Like, uh, no more leaves. Oh, there's a couple more leaves left on Campanieri. I got trees falling down. I shut the uh, I shut the irrigation system off. That's why a lot of these leaves are drying up. Um, the irrigation just ends up creating more more pests and stuff. So I just uh, since I'm not really I've kind of given up on most of the figs here. I I decided to just shut off the irrigation. And also I, I had a plumbing issue where I would have had to have fixed it. And at this point in the season, I'm like, I'm not fixing, I'm not fixing the irrigation system. I'm just gonna shut it off. Uh, okay, here we go. This is uh, one of the, what I call the uh, Delmati types. Um, you know, Stella, Delmati. There's a series of figs that are, they're kind of in this family. They're all very similar. This is uh, Leo Longhishimo. Is the actual variety this is. But I, uh, I was really, really happy with my Dalmati fig, um, that specific variety, which is, a, a, I think, three years old now. Um, these other ones I was less happy with, but they were still good. They were still good, uh, but not as good as that Dalmati, man. That thing, was, that thing was really good this year. But I think, you, you know, these types, they just need a few years. Let me try this. That's my camera. All right, here we go. This is uh, Leo Lunghishimo. There we go. Look at that. It's looking pretty good, actually, although it's a little spoiled at the bottom. Let me just throw that away. I love just throwing this stuff out in the yard. <laughs> All year long, I've been putting them in garbage bags and, and, and tying them up and throwing them in the, in the garbage. So let me try this thing. not that good moving on. all right let me check back here I, I was having a lot of problems with swd back in this area here this is uh adriatic jh right in front of me which the last couple years has been like a top tasting fig for me um but this year i just had too much trouble splitting too much trouble with swd honestly it was too packed in here behind all these other figs and i just couldn't I couldn't care for it kind of the way I needed to with really getting after the organza bags and stuff um, to make sure it didn't get infested. And um, I ended up not getting a great Adriatic JH fig like I have in previous years. But it is a, it is a really good tasting variety. Um, but definitely not as hassle-free as some of the other Adriatics. I mean, White Madeira number one, Green Minsterinska, those are varieties that are more hassle-free, more more um, productive in terms of getting figs that will actually taste good. Uh, you know, Adriatic JH is a little problematic. Look at this fig tree sitting up. There we go. There we go. All right. Adriatic JH is a little more problematic. It uh, splits more. You get the SWD more. So for in that in that, that again is the difference between taste and uh, just general like uh, you know generally being a good variety. So in my opinion, even though Adriatic JH can taste better than some of these other varieties on occasion, it is not a better variety overall than like say White Madeira Number no. One or Green Mistrinska, which were great varieties for me this year. 
Yeah, just feeling around, trying to find some more ripe figs here. Oh, here's a, this is a Martinica Ramada. Beautiful fig. You know, it, it turns dark when it ripens. And I got, these are these are just covered in SWD, but this might be good here. I had a, I had a bag on this one. I actually didn't know if that Martinica Ramada tree was correct. So I didn't, I didn't sell any uh, cuttings last season because I thought it might be Penache. I guess there was some confusion and the two were mixed up, but Penache will not turn dark when it's fully ripe. Um, so that's how you can tell. So that one did turn dark, so I guess it's correct. Uh, let me try this. Okay, that's uh, Martinenka Ramada. Let me just try a taste of that. Oh, no, no. That's, uh, that's so good. All right, moving on. Oh, here we go. Moscatel Verde. Man, I, I really like this fig this season. Um, it's, well, it's my it's my first season growing it. Never tried it before. It's a fig du monde variety. And uh, I really like this fig this, this season. It's it's unique in that it has a really... Look at that, it gets sprayed with latex. How did that happen? Uh, it's a really... Uh, it's a really creamy variety. It's it's unusual uh, for its creaminess, um, which just gives it a nice added, um, I don't know, texture or flavor, that creaminess. Um, it, it just has a real nice, sweet, creamy flavor. Let me try this. All right, Moscatel Verde. Mmm, yeah, that's good. So even now, you know, end of the season. Still getting some good fig from Moscatel Verde. Still has some of that creaminess. It's like a sweet, creamy flavor. That's good. I like this variety. Let me, uh, here we go. I got one that's split open. Let me, uh, let me see if this is still good. I think I checked these yesterday, so it must have just happened. See if I can get out of the bag. There we go. All right, so there it is. There's the split. You can see. And I would not say this is a bad splitter. I don't know. I don't know why it split. I think because I turned the irrigation back on briefly, just so I could prevent my trees from completely drying out. Let me let me try this. Mm, yeah, that's good. That's good. So I like. Uh, yeah, I'm a I'm a fan of Moscatel Verde. That was good. All right, see what else we got back here. Uh, I got to, it's kind of a mess back there. I got some, uh, I moved my Rossellino tree back here after I got a bunch of figs and it kept producing, but it was kind of inaccessible back here. And then it, and then it ended up getting uh, infested with a lot of SWD. Here's my uh, Col de Dom Mutante here. Beautiful, beautiful fig, you know? It's one of the most beautiful figs, for sure. Uh, there we go. Look at that. That's really pretty. And it's a really tasty fig, too. You know? Um, those aren't... The problem is those just aren't ripe. So, I'll put the I'll put the bag back on there. Maybe maybe it'll ripen up. I found that the Col de Doms, um, late in the season, will still taste really good. And I think it's... You know, they just have such an intense berry flavor that even when they ripen in poor conditions, and maybe they're not fully ripe or ideally ripe they still taste really good um so i put the organza bag on back on the col de dom mutante and we'll see if that thing ripens up this is a col de dom uh roja right here a bag on that one too so maybe that one will ripen who knows uh what do we got here this is a uh, lavolsi which I ended up one of the one of the few sacred origin varieties that I did actually get some good some uh, some figs off of. It was uh, just kind of a honey flavored fig for me. It wasn't anything super special really, but it grew like crazy. I mean, look at look at that Lavolsi. Look how much uh, look how much that thing grew. It's just gigantic. It's crazy. 
Uh, let's see what else we got here. See if I can find any ripe figs. Okay, what's this? Oh, this is a uh, Nuestra Señora del Carmen, which is a late fig, by the way. I mean, I would put that in, uh, you know, like Col de Dames, Black Madeiras, you know, in terms of lateness, it's right up there. And uh, I don't, I don't think that one was quite ripe. What is this? This is a uh, Bergen Unknown. Let me try this. All right, I got the Bergen Unknown. It looks like it might be okay. It doesn't look spoiled to me. There we go. Open it up. Hard to see. I don't, it doesn't look uh, obviously spoiled. Let me try it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not good. All right, let's see what else we got here. Way in the back here of the, what I call the fig garden. Let's see what I've got here. I don't, I don't honestly know what this is. I had this all season. I, I know I rooted it and I don't know what it is. It's pretty good though. Let me try that. Sour. All right, so here is my Dalmati, which I've been super happy with this season. Uh, just had a really good taste off this thing. Let me, let me get out of here. All right. Just got my, this is actually a small Dalmati. Um, these are usually much bigger than this. Oops. It's got that liquid coming out of it. That means it's got SWD spoilage, and I don't want to. I don't want to try to eat that. That's gross. All right, let's see what else we got here. Let's walk around. Yeah, I got. Uh, ooh, that's nice rotted Paracel Ramada. Uh, that's not ripe yet. Eh, it doesn't feel right. Yeah, there's just there's just not much left here. Let's see what this is? No. I'm just not. I don't think there's anything back here. Here we go. Get over here. Well, let me look at this. This is a. A hardy Chicago, or I'm sorry, not hardy Chicago. It's not a hardy Chicago. It's a hardy kiwi, hardy kiwi. And uh, let me see if I can get one that's ripe here. There's these little. It's a. It's a species of kiwi, but it's not a. Not like the kind. It's not a fuzzy kiwi like you buy in the store. It's a different species. It's uh, sometimes called kiwi berries, but they're just little kiwis. They're the size of grapes. And uh, let me bite into it. So you can see the inside there. This one's sour because it's not ripe, but they get sweet when they're ripe and they're just like little tiny kiwis, but they're but they're the size of like grapes, little grapes, and they're good. They're really tasty. So I had a bunch of them on this tree, this uh, vine here, but I think they've all kind of uh, either ripened and fell off or the birds ate them or I ate them or something, but because they look like they're all gone. But that was kind of a, a neat fruit that I grew for the first time this season. It took about four or five years to grow it, uh, such that it would produce fruit. Um, yeah, those are those are looking spoiled. So let me let me keep going here. Okay, this is, uh, this is my TC12 tree. I got a few fruits off TC12, but. Um, it was a lot of the fruits didn't ripen on TC12. It was a combination of uh, the way I grew it, where it kind of got interrupted in growth and then put on a lot of fruit late in the season. And then also it's kind of back here in the shade too. So that was a factor. This is my Algerian Chetoy. This is a uh, uh, Fos. Forestera de Can Reveu. 
which I was really happy with. This had a really good flavor for me this season. Well, it's my first season getting fruit off of it, actually, but uh, it, was, it was good tasting fruit. It's another uh, Nuestra Senora del Carmen here. Again, not quite ripe yet. I, I, I got some figs earlier off that, but not a lot. All right, I think I'm running out of figs here. I think I've checked most of them. Let's see what else I got here. This is a boysenberry blush, which that's not ripe. Coldadam gigantina. Some of these are ones I had down in the grow room for a while and then I've moved them out so that I could get some other ones in there. I just have a limited amount of space in the grow room, so I can't keep them all down there. It's a uh, black Tuscan that's not ripe yet. These are some more, uh, this is my Nuestra Senora del Carmen mother tree here. The one I got, uh, not this past spring, but the spring before. And uh, a bunch of figs that are just almost ripe, but they're not quite there yet. And I did, I have gotten a couple ripe figs off this, but not a lot. Again, it's kind of a, a late variety, or it is a late variety. Let's see if I got something down here. This is one, God, ah, uh, I had so many figs on here. Look at all these figs, look at all these figs. And not a single one ripened, not a single one. This is a uh, Settembrino. Uh, well, here's one right here. You know what, this is the ripest one I've seen. Let me see what this is. There we go. All right, there's Settembrino. Let me try it. My first taste of Settembrino. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's it's obviously not ripe. I don't I don't even know why I tried that. Uh, yeah. Huh. Oh, you're just so close on this one, but I don't think any of those are gonna ripen, unfortunately. Uh, this was uh, Nostrano, which I just did a video on right here at the end of the season. Just barely got a ripe fig off that one. And then these two, I didn't I didn't get any of those to ripen either, so. Well, all right, well, oh, you know what? Of course, I've got uh, Improved Celeste here. This is a workhorse variety, very reliable. And um, that one's not ripe, but uh, here we go. Let's see if I can find a ripe one that isn't infested with SWD. Let me try this one. All right, this one might be okay. Yeah, it still has a good taste. So here's another one, Improved Celeste. It's not, it's nothing special, I guess, but one of the first ones to ripen. Here it is at the end of the season. Still ripening, really good tasting fix. So there's something to be said for that. I've got a couple of uh, uh, hardy Chicago types here. This is a uh, black Greek. It's another workhorse variety. This looks to have a pretty tight eye. Sometimes this eye is a little open. Let me try this. All right, so again, this is black Greek. Hardy Chicago type. Yeah, and that, uh, yeah, I think the cold weather um, combined with the really tight eye has allowed me to get a few figs here without the SWD infesting them. This one doesn't have a lot of sweetness. The Improved Celeste was still sweet, uh, but the Black Greek, I wouldn't call it sour, but it's, it's tart. But at least it's not spoiled. So, that's good. And then I've got uh, MBVS. This is my other in-ground party Chicago type, but I don't see any ripe ones on that that aren't, uh, you know, spoiled. So, so I won't, I won't be able to try that one. Yeah, 
that's not ripe yet. Yeah, I think that's it. So pretty much done here. There was only a couple of varieties that produced, that are still producing sweet fruit for me. Now, this is one of them, Bertolino, and Improved Celeste was another one. And funny thing, funny thing, those are both also two of the earliest varieties. So two of the earliest varieties and also varieties that I guess you could say are two of the latest varieties because they're still producing good fruit here when very few figs are. So that's, uh, that's kind of cool. All right, well, that's my end of season walkabout. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, I've got a few, like I said before, I've got a few figs in the grow room, so I may be able to do a couple last reviews uh, before, before I do my end of season um, like rankings. But, uh, but otherwise, I'm um, pretty much done for the season in terms of uh, ripening fruit. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit subscribe and check out my website, www.figlife.com.